I went back to South Korea recently, right, to do some shows, and uh, one of the mothers of these two boys I used to teach found out I was coming, and she emailed me, and she said, is it okay, you want to come have dinner with the family? And I was like, sure, that'd be great, I'd love to see how the boys are doing. And she goes, is it okay if they message you? I'm like, yeah, sure. Right, so I get this message from these two boys, I used to teach them, you know, in kindergarten, and it said, teacher, you, meeting, family, tomorrow, five time, pizza, good luck. <laughs> I taught those kids for three years. That's what you get when you hire an assistant janitor. <laughs> but I speak fluent Konglish, right? Which is a combination of Korean and English. I speak fluent Konglish. So I know what he meant. He meant, tomorrow you're meeting my family at Good Luck Pizza at five o'clock. I'm like, of course, I'll be there. So I show up, it's the two boys, the mom, the father. I never met the father again. Again, it was one of these like, uh, uh, like, all right, man. <laughs> we sit down. Now, I don't know if you guys know anything about Korean food, right? It's delicious. Korean pizza, disgusting. <laughs> They don't know how to do pizza. That's why it's called good luck pizza, like good luck trying to digest this shit. It's disgusting. Like corn, octopus, cold cabbage, those aren't pizza toppings. Those are food mistakes. So I'm being a polite Canadian, right? Just sitting down, pretending it's good, like, mmm. Thank you. Yum. Then we say goodbye, say goodbye to the mother and the kids. The father grabs my arm, pulls my arm, and goes, me, you, go. I'm like, what? He goes, me, you, go, okay? I'm like, okay. Right? It's kind of rude to say no to people in Korea who are older than you. And I was like, okay, let's go with this man, see what's happening. By the way, this is like a Tuesday afternoon, right? He gets on his telephone, we say goodbye to the kids, the mother, he's on his phone. A few minutes later, we're in a basement karaoke bar. Yeah, just me and him. Just me and Mr. Kim in a basement karaoke bar on a Tuesday afternoon. Sober. This is weird. And Mr. Kim, he's so happy, he's like, oh, good. I'm like, no, bad. Not good. The opposite of good. And then he ordered beer and nuts. He's like, okay. I'm like, okay, let the party begin, you know? Then all of a sudden, they'll knock on the door. I'm like, okay, right? Get up and go over and open the door. It's just two, two ladies, two women, right? The, yeah, they weren't singing coaches, let me tell you that. Uh, yeah, they were prostitutes. He ordered them on the telephone like a pizza. And I was like, do you remember your children? We just had pizza with your children, Mr. Kim. <laughs> then he's like, your girl, my girl. Okay, your girl, my girl. I'm like, dude, no. No, I don't want to do this. I'm sober. It's Tuesday afternoon. And one girl, you know, she was hot. She was beautiful, right? Hot. And the other girl, you know, she, she was warm. And uh, she was warm. And I didn't want to choose. And Mr. Kim chose the hot chick. I'm like, good choice, Mr. Kim. That's a good choice, that would have been my choice. <laughs> then we go, we sit down. I'm sitting down, me and, me and warm, right, sitting down. She started getting just colder by the minute. She's on her phone like, this is fucking bullshit. I don't wanna be here. And then Mr. Kim, he has his arm around his girl, and he's kissing her on the cheek. I'm like, this is creepy, this is weird, you know? And then they're dancing to, to K-pop music, the world's worst music. <laughs> it's the worst music in the world. You guys know, you guys like the who, right? It's terrifying. Who, who, this, right? That's Mongolia. Korea's like, hey, hi. <laughs> Fucking weird as fuck. I'm 25 years old, you're acting like you're seven. You get a fucking grip. <laughs>